in, and it's nice to see the re-debut of Lux after a long period of absence. And it's always frozen, right? It's always incredible miracle here in Korea doing that. So it will be a support Nautilus, another champion that we haven't seen since some of those Nautilus E nerfs. And Dade got crushed. Uh, uh, Roar? Um, Roar must have eaten the wrong part of a hook, and he has to use two summoners to escape Big Bane in that case, right? But yep. here we go, Frozen has to run out. Ambition with the tunnel coming in. Flash knockup. Frozen gets the chilling smite, and Frozen has to flash out. Coco goes in. Mad Life is here. Gets a hook onto Tucson. First blood for Mad Life. How much of that is to be leveled at kind of IM with some questionable picks, with questionable early play? With very nice skin choices, though. The crowd very well. much does enjoy that. But when you're AD carry on top, who needs to apply pressure? Has that sort of a trade. Speaking of trades, Expression, he's dead. Just a straight up solo kill. Now, are they going to go for it? They are going to go in. Frozen with the chilling smite on him, and he gets knocked back by the wall. Frozen gets a nice double bind, but it's not going to be quite enough. Ambition is holding off. He's going to have to take it with the Prey Seeker. Didn't want to do that, but ends up having to do that. And now it's about eight seconds, and you can see already Expression moving away. Space is going to get turret dive. Finally being paid for Thresh roaming so heavily. Okay, solo kill. Well, not a solo kill, but a solid kill for Raw. Wait for someone to flash on top of her and kill her. Yeah, and the the recall timing right there due to lack of mana. Let CJ take a dragon. There's the pressure down onto the mid lane. And here he comes. Coco going to come into this one. Ambition already very low. Ambition will get lanterned out, but not quite going to die yet, but there's Expression coming in with a TP. Now, does CJ Entis fight this? The answer is no, just backing off. Space will split off back towards the bottom lane. Coco has to flash himself as he gets hooked in. Expression, is he actually going to get a kill here? Coco gets out by moving the Sand Soldiers. Now, Shy wants a kill. Expression about to hit that Meganar form. A really delayed teleport from the Fizz in spite of the lack of fish here, and that's what they're going to do. Get frisky here with Gentle Benar under the turret, and Ignite is down, and that's a kill for Shy and a Lantern right back into the minion wave. The MR now looks like he may be going Abyssal. Uh-oh, two in. It's knocked up, Chilling Smite down, and there's a great hook onto the end. Space easily chasing down Tucson's Gragas, and Coco tries to box him in. Here's another dive from CJ Entis. Hook going to be dodged out by the final hour, but it's not going to be enough. Pink Ward laid down right next to the turret. I'm just here to save Solo Q. You're here to destroy it, and here we go. They are here to destroy Frozen. Flash play and locked up until the bitter end is frozen, dissolving in a sad pool of light on the ground, given the Lux, given the situation. And because if you can get into late game as Lux and you get into 5v5s, and you, hello, Space has to use his ultimate right there. No one else feels like tangling with the Gnar. A really weird pickup in this game. And now they find him. They don't expect to find him on the Krugs, but there okay. he is, has to gnar them into the wall. And Space, not going to get knocked out. Ignar has his dredge line interrupted. A big ult, a big final spark, but it's just not enough. Double kill for Space, no kills for Frozen, no stacks for Frozen on his Magi's. Summoner all killing the Lux. Out of is going to keep going down, and Shy's feeling frisky. And there we go. There's this. Oh, no, miss on that. Ambition has to get out on the Lantern. As Roar starts to turn it, Ambition within one auto attack of being dead. And Expression now trying to chase him down with the slope of the boomerang. Space is certainly dead to rights, and there's a couple kills from LZIM. Coco wasn't there. Space going for a Blade of the Ruin King as his third item. I mean, why the hell not? There is no armor on the enemy team, and there are two inherently, three inherently tanky champions, so Blade probably a good pickup. Coming in from behind, Expression all on his own, and there's a play. Sand Soldiers are there. Space doesn't have any follow up with his ultimate, though, remember. But the hook, the hook comes through. Coco with the kill. Mark for stellar drafting tonight. Nope. Lucent actually takes the fish. And now Ambition and Shy over the wall. Roar's already there. 
Can they get the damage down? Uh, they have a split call right now. There's the beam. Not going to be a steal or anything quite yet. Expression low on the outside. No one from CJ dying quite yet. Shy falls. A big split call right there from CJ. Coco gets jumped on top of. What is Coco going to do now? Bends it Ooh. around. A beautiful Azir play, but unfortunately it doesn't actually hit anybody, but it was pretty sick to watch. The bend it like Coco. Curve it like Coco, Papa Smitty. Like Get My it apologies. right. <laughs> I, I, I see to you, sir. Well, nice one. <laughs> one was already there. Shy just going to TV back in, and here comes Frozen in the river two sit there two can they actually dissuade shy they can he used his ignite to get the oh um well well hello rexai taking of the ban but dragon certainly simple academic even yep 36 minutes 45 that's when fifth dragon's gonna come online yeah. right now clear up this pink ward uh oh oh he gets interrupted on the lantern now pushed out space ends up somehow very far away and that's a dodge onto the final spark bad life gets out but here comes coco right into the middle of the fight has to back away as Vane begins to kite but they get two action but frozen once again falling down comfortably they get the pick on two and actually push him into the baron pit. Oh, oh, oh. And there you go, Coco with another kill. Zonia's on the outside, wants to stay alive, pops over to, to the other side of the Baron Wall. And now Shy starting to clean up alongside Space. Expression on the run. Expression has no defensive items, remember. CJ pile on the kills. They've actually kept the Baron leash. It's at 2,000 health. Gonna fall low, gonna secure that objective, actually, just to the auto attack coming through. I guess the chilling smite might have been used by Ambition. He, but also to layer all those skills. He just don't have that one shot potential. And there we go. Is this going to be the last team by Roar in the front line? Actually getting a lot of damage down onto Ambition, but he's gonna get bumped oh. out by Coco with that ultimate showing that those E nerfs don't matter. He's still got it in him. And Ignar on the outside of his base, just funneled into the base gate by Shy. And this should be the win here for CJ Entis with this Baron expression. Caught out, unburrowed on, double kill for Shy. Frozen, the last man standing, his pink tickle beam not going to affect Shy in the least. And Coco curves it around the Nexus for some style points at the end. CJ will take the series two to one. Just good play from CJ. You have to question the draft from IM.